really don't stay outside when I play outside. I put the beats on them like drow side. I got the bow side and they lay outside. And if you act bad, I bring the outside. Go and get your money. None of my know some funny. I can tell real by who you're running with. I'm all in the field. Duck hunt. Hit my just a and he was like boop. Yeah. Knew just what it was. The whole but gave it back boop. Yeah. 9 11, no malice, baby. But no violence, baby. My got callous, baby. My bare knuckles got talent, baby. I'm all in the wind with it. On deuce line, I've been with it. She too fine, I've been. Crashed two times, I limo tenant my new ride. I'm riding with the 12 bet not pull me over. over. Championship going dumb. Whoa, Nothing to something whoa. I won. Whoa. Get out the way, get out the way, get out the way, yeah. yeah. Get out the way, get the way, my way, yeah. yeah. You either with me or against me, though. You either with me or win, 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 win. win. Yeah. Curve everything else. Win, 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 win. win. These I'm saying. on my back, my back. carry it like I'm moving them. I told him to the hunter, like he trying to move it up. It was like lemon in the morning, skip the school, that's what Truant said about it. I made me some rats in the morning, I had me a pop by the morning, I had me some breaks by the morning, I had a sis by the morning, I got on a meat on the morning, the rats keep me up on the podium, I had a in my shoulder, you got a bitch me, you got this bitch me. Pacific ice from an ocean. ocean. Ready for war like I'm Russian. Russia. Ladies should never look lucky. My diamonds, they tussling. They tussling. My neck and my belly on. They call it for me and they. You want me like me and I look. Yeah. Her Rex on her. Yeah. Me Rex better calm down. Yeah. If you go around, come around. Yeah. Whole squad. Yeah. Squad goes on the. Yeah. Make some orange on my toes. Yeah. Fair congress for the trolls. Yeah. You can go and get mad. Jumping in the bed with two dark teeth and who's you? My shouting bullet love with a real bad, bad, you too. Dripping my swag, do my tag on the moon. I got it in the bank, man. I'm getting all type of cash on my general truth. I never did anybody, but I got something to do with that. I got the streets on my back, my back. Carry it like I'm moving them. I told him to the hunter, like he trying to move it up. It was like lemon in the morning, skip the school, that's a truancy about it. I made me some rats in the morning, I had me a pop out of morning, I had me some breaks by the morning, I had a sis by the morning, I got on a meat on the morning, the rats keep me up on the podium. Coach, we find ourselves at the foot of the Rockies, Denver, Colorado, for this edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Dallas Cowboys and the Denver Broncos. It's the final three weeks of the season. Still plenty to play for here as we're underway in week 15. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line.
Now a handoff looking right. And he finds some space past the 25 to the 27. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. He'll look to throw. Trying to lay one up deep. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. Third play of this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. They'll look to throw here. Going right side here, and that's complete. Oh, shifty. Whoa. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A gain of 26 on the third down conversion. yourself a little bit when you give up a touchdown on the opening drive. and be backed up to the 24. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. I know when I was a kid, I always got really excited when I saw those lateral-type runs, but the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. They go play action. Young. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face match. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. Tackled by Bradley Chubb, the number five pick in the 2018 draft. So Amari Cooper out of Northwestern High School in Miami making a nice play there. And it's so funny that when I was going through the draft process when he came out of Alabama and just inquiring about him and his skills, 
They say it all began back in Miami. He really became a pro receiver at a young age because of his attention to detail and precision. But don't forget his athletic ability. That's what made that catch there. And he did spend one year with Teddy Bridgewater as his quarterback there, so that helped back in high school. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Ah! Now a second down throw for Young. And that one almost intercepted. Call it a 50-50 ball. It falls incomplete, and now third down. Now, keep in mind, they did have three interceptions last week. Couldn't quite come up with a first-quarter pick that time. But they had to like what they saw in terms of reacting when the ball is thrown. We had an expression when I played. It was called break on it. Every time the quarterback puts the ball in the air, break on the football. Go make a play and accumulate those interceptions. Former defensive back, you remember those three interception games. It can be contagious, give you a little momentum. They really can. And it doesn't matter whether it's one person or if you spread them across your entire defense. Everybody wants a piece of that pie. The penalty gets them half the distance closer, but they'll still need to come up with something on third and goal. touchdown now on the year and the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game extra point up and through and we are tied at seven so a tie ball game here as the kicks away this fielded a few yards into the end zone and he'll take it back to about the 19 yard line so the Broncos coming out now. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are, but with that last drive that culminated in a touchdown, I think they carry that confidence into this one. doesn't matter where you start with the football now. They have to feel great about their opportunity. to his tight end. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Ten yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. Seeing that play and understanding just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? And what a really nice game right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. So they come up first and ten now from the 33. Collision there, jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. Detroit, second and 10 Detroit. from the 33 yard line. Hot, hot. And second and 10, he'll look to throw again. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. That one going for a gain of 11 and a Bronco first down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. to throw now on first down. He's got the hook up to Odell Beckham. Now he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. And a nice gain of 21 yards. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. 
here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Flush to his right. The left side completion to Jones. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Again, he'll drop to throw. And this is caught for a Blanco touchdown. Julio Jones, his 14th touchdown now on the year. And the Broncos are in for six. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. Now the Cowboys offense heads back onto the field as we grind toward the end of the season here, and they haven't had the season that they had hoped. So let me ask you to play GM. Where might they look to make some changes? I think when you look into the upcoming draft, think hard about them drafting multiple offensive linemen. They've got to get stouter up front. And as a GM always tells me, Charles, this is a big boy league, and big people always end up winning games for you. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Okay, let's just make this one simple. We know that the running game is not their thing, but they can't just throw it on every single down without expecting some real heat from the pass rush. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Detroit! Detroit! Second down, Young. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And down he'll go at the 25. They'll give him a yard on the play, and it'll be third and 10 now. Well, it's tough to be a defender in today's NFL because there's so many things to account for in today's passing game, including the back sneaking out of the backfield. Not quite as bad as a turkey bowl where you have that center eligible stuff, but still a lot of guys to account for. It's Young off play action. And fights him off. Now Young loses the football and stripped. Sitting alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, as it is Cowboy football to begin quarter number two. They are, however, facing a fourth down situation. So on fourth down, here's Chris Jones to punt it away. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. On the NFL scoreboard, an update from up in Seattle. And it's an early lead there for the Saints. And we'll keep an eye on that one as our game goes along here. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to float this one deep right side. So they took a shot on first down but couldn't connect. A lot of contact there, but there was no way it appeared that he was going to get a flag on that one. Looking for it, but he wasn't going to get it. And as an ex-defensive back, you love it when they let you play and jostle downfield. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. And they'll run it here. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. Up from his linebacker spot, Deion Jones making the play. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading the play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. 
What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's going to lose yardage here back at the eight. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. Well, you had to punt on your first drive, and on the first play of the second drive, you end up going backwards. I would dare say they need something good to happen right here, right now. No, 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 no. Check. Patriot. Patriot. Ah! Young off the play fake. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. The good signal callers would never go back in the huddle and play the blame game because they need those guys to protect him. But on that last one, his offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly, and that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. The play fake, now Young. Looking for Cooper, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the corner, Bradley Roby. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Now, Crosby for the point after. Crosby with the extra point, and it's now 21-7. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fit, and there's creases like they were able to exploit right there. Throwing, young. And oh, this is taken in one-handed, what a catch. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A very solid gain of 27. Show a first and 10 now in Denver territory at the 43. Young working out of the gun. He's going to let this thing go deep for Caldwell. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync, only way to play good defense. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. On second down, Young again. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. As long as you go through your proper reads and progressions, the drag route can be one of those old, reliable plays because usually it's good for a good chunk of yardage, as we just saw there. And those guys like it, right? They can get the ball with a full head of steam. Especially against man coverage, because man coverage, they're typically running away from someone and not worried about traffic coming out on the other end. First and 10, Young going underneath. It's Coleman. Space to run past the 20. And he's all the way down to the 13-yard line. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches. And they're trying to create one there. Getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space. Let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. And his throw is going to be incomplete. 
But he kind of forced that one there, didn't he? It's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football. Yeah, he wasn't really going through progressions. He wanted to go to his top guy. You do that against this defense, they'll make you pay, won't they? Yeah, they certainly will. They react very quickly to the thrown football. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. To throw again. Young. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Amari Cooper with a lucky number 13 touchdowns now on the year. And the Cowboys have cut it to within a score. Point after, right down the middle. And they're back with it, a touchdown at 21-14. This game back with it, a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. And the mile high air in full effect as that's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Bronco offense now set to come back out onto the field. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead right, now. now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. And it worked his way across the 30 to the 32. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. All right, now, lock it 56. Lock it. Now back to throw. Looking for his tight end on the corner. It's complete. That one goes for 24 yards. Well, from an offense's perspective, that sure was pretty because the corner route is extremely right, difficult to defend six. from my perspective. Six. What we just saw there, is that sort of the evolution of the tight end position? Yeah, I think it is because more and more, tight ends are being treated like wide receivers. These are some agile players who can make a play in any spot on the field. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. So two minutes to go in a wild first half. Back to Denver right after this. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Left side is back in. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. He got 29 yards that time. Well, we know he's got the speed there. He needed the speed and the hands. A great catch. And because of that speed, you have to respect it as a defender. So you have to either play off or make sure you're somehow in contact with him. And he's able to do exactly what you said. Use the speed to his advantage and go up and get the football. That's a big-time play right there. throw again. Eluding the pressure right. And incomplete. He dropped it in the end zone. Once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover, you'd better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get a ball in there. Yeah, when that field right, shrinks with those six. safeties, Lock it's almost the like six. there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. They'll give it to him up the middle. He gets this down to the three, but no further. Brought the power run out of the bag and got a couple extra yards with it. Seven big yards on the carry there to get him within range of the goal line with third down upcoming. And now a timeout called by the Cowboys defense as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. From the three-yard line again, they'll try and punch it in here on third and goal. They come out here in the eye. On third down. That's Lindsey. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Denver. A great play there with his 13th touchdown of the year and second of the game. And the Broncos will add on to their lead. He's got it as they double up the lead. This one's now 28-14. 
The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. Oh, look at the juice. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And Charles, the way touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides in this thing, it's starting to feel a little bit more like maybe a tennis match than a football game. Yeah, I like your description there. Maybe we're sitting in a nice royal box watching this type of a game. But let's face it, right now, the way it's going back and forth, it's going to come down to who can get a stop. Throwing left side, it's complete. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 16 yards right off the bat in a first down. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a blitz coming, and down he goes. And before the second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Soon this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Right. Here's Young from the shotgun. Flushed out right. Looking for Cooper, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the corner, Bradley Ruby. Cooper was the intended target. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Detroit! Detroit! They go play action here on first down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more Detroit! quick play and then Detroit! another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. throw now on first down. And that is caught. Touchdown, Denver. As his guys are in for six. And the Broncos will extend their lead. And that's a lead that excites a team as they head into the half. Good way to finish things off. Yeah, able to extend that lead, and you always say it, that can totally change the complexion of half number two. Yeah, it changes your morale, changes your outlook. But even before that, Let's see if they decide to kind of squib kick or what they're going to do on the kickoff because you don't want to give up a big play right before the half ends. Good point. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. We have hit halftime. Still, t And okay, so much for our halftime break. Apparently we're going to get right back to it. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. That's fielded in the end zone. Oh, good move. Yeah, a good return. He's across the 35-yard line, right around the 36. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But oh, this you're is gonna a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They're going to have to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage will be found. On play action. Young. And that's incomplete. Let's face it. If you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you've got to hit. He's wide open right there. You've got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Go on, go on! Go on, go on! Third and long for Young. 
Oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long, and they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. On fourth down, they snap it to Young. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off at the 48, and they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. So now he's equaled his interception total from a week ago. Remember, Charles, he had three last week. And you know, all week long, he vowed to take that number down. Told the guys on the team, don't worry, things are going to pick up. I've got this. But he is in a major league rut right now. Let's see if his teammates can pick him up along the way. You're right. He talked about being cool, calm, collective, rebounding. Not rebounding right here. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Watch it now, Barney, Barney. Now they try the right side here. And he's going to get this one down to the 45. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll set up a third down. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. the gun now on third down and he couldn't hang on to it through the contact incomplete you hear the calls for a penalty but I just don't think so I think in this situation the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football so I don't see anything to warrant to the flag no I'm with you there was contact but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket The Broncos send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Add one, tell me once, you know, when we're having a tough patch, this too shall pass, this too shall pass. And then finally we kept having a rough patch. He said, but you've got to do something <laughs> Heads up. to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. They'll run it now. Out of the gun. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Second down, Young stepping up. He's going to keep it. And he gets this up just shy of the 15. They needed some breathing room. He gave it to him. 11 yards and a first down. Sometimes guys get locked into such a groove. What do we call it? The game's slowing down. They see everything happening almost in slow motion. They see the lanes develop. I feel like he's right there. Well, and you want this from your leader, right? With this deficit, this stage of the game, second half. No quit in him. Zero. Young on first down. And he's going to go down. Back at his own five-yard line. It's a sack. I think we've seen this before. Someone's down three scores. That situation there is just going to add to their growing frustrations, don't you think? Yeah, a bad number three right now. Three-score game, third quarter, three and out. Not what they wanted. And you can tell on the sideline, those faces are getting a little bit longer as this one goes. Steps away to his left. 
He's got room to run past the 20. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. Containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier on this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Detroit! Do you adjust Detroit! something? Yeah, I think you do. I think you got to start thinking about your rush lanes. Try not to either get too wide Detroit! or too narrow. Detroit! Make sure someone is there waiting for him to take off. And a big loss here as he's taken down. And that's the second sack of the game, but this player disruptive in all phases whether he's going upfield coming underneath you name it he's a big time guy you have to block now then after the sack it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23 trip, trip. Go on, go on. Go on, go on. they go play action young and he will find his man on the outside and he'll get it up a little shy of the 15. They'll spot him down at the 14-yard line. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Gone, gone! Gone, gone! Throwing on third and long. Young. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by the corner, Bradley Roby. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Bronco defense has a touchdown. This D wanted to put it away before we even get to the fourth quarter, widening that margin a bit further. And while they won't just empty the bench just yet, if you're a backup, start loosening up. I think you'll get a chance to play before this one is over now with that type of a cushion. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. They are right now just ice cold. I mean, they have struggled big time in this game, and they're getting blown out. How do they adjust? So tough because we always talk about it being a team game, and you need all 11 working well together. But every now and then, partner, you need that one guy who can make a play against all odds that maybe can ignite things. And I think that's what they're looking for right now. Yeah, you talk about going to your playmakers. They probably need to do it. Find someone that you're used to touching the football that makes big plays and give them that opportunity to maybe wake up everyone else. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. To throw on second down is Young. Dancing to his left. And that is incomplete here. Brandon, at least there's one bright side to that incompletion. What's that? It wasn't an interception. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of savage. But correct. No pick, just incomplete that time. The Cowboys on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and 11. Detroit! 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 And they just get the playoff. Now Young. Got his man. It's Caldwell. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. He got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. Elsewhere around the NFL, third quarter now in Los Detroit, Angeles, Detroit. and the Rams have opened it up to I lead know, by a couple of touchdowns now. Remember to keep an eye on the ticker, of course, at the bottom of your screen for updates on that game and others around the NFL. Looking left side, he's got it complete. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. It'll be Young again. Flush to his right. And my goodness, another interception. Sua Cravens with a pick. 
And they take possession two yards away from midfield at the 48-yard line. Yet another interception, and I just had to double-check my math. But it is now eight between last week and this week. Well, I just used the calculator. I didn't worry about double-checking it. But the thing that always throws me when you see quarterbacks in this type of a bad spot, they're trying to figure out what they can do to change it. And sometimes they try too hard, and they never get out of it. And that's where he is right now. He's just locked in in a really bad way. He's going to air one out. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there. Need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. That one good for 10 yards. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. Look, the first down marker is out there, but sometimes it's hard to find for an offense when they're in a long yardage situation, which usually means throw the football. In this case, they went against the tendency and ran it, and boy, the reward was there. A big, big pickup, and guess what? It's now third and very short in order to try and pick up the first down. Now it looks like we've got a Bronco that's banged up on the play. We'll step aside and get a report when we come back to Denver. And now the first throw for the backup quarterback. He's going to let it go deep. And this is caught for a Bronco touchdown. Julio Jones with touchdown number 15 of the year and second of the game. And the Broncos continue to pour it on. Crosby connects on the extra point, And the lead will swell by one more. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he will be taken down here on the return on what will wind up being the final play of this third quarter. of four there, bringing up second down. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Off the play fake, Young. And the Broncos get there and take him down. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Gun, gun! Gun, gun! Young now. Off play action. Now he steps away. He's going to let this thing go deep. And now here is another interception. Picked off near the 44. And it's a huge return as he brings this all the way back down to the 15-yard line. Gosh, you add up last week and this week now. That's nine interceptions in this two-game stretch, and we're not done here. It's almost like they can't even believe their eyes. Or maybe, partner, is the confidence level in him so high that they believe he'll get out of it and make plays for them to win a game. Well, they said they believe in him. That's being tested right here. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and it'll be second and 11. Detroit! Detroit! Now they'll run it on the toss. And he's going to get it inside the 10 to the 7-yard line. 
Eight yards there on the carry, and now they're left with a much more manageable third and three. The Broncos on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This time it's third and three. Detroit! Detroit! Looking to throw. McDonald. Hard throw, incomplete. Brandon, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys, you had your fun? All right, throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out. And by a few inches, that'll be a first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. <laughs> Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. He has just been completely taken out of this game. We're in the fourth quarter. He's single digits in the rushing department. And I know we look at him because the numbers do go to his production. But how about the guys blocking for him? They don't just have his number as a ball carrier. They've got the number of the offensive line and the other guys because they're getting to him before he can get started. Now they'll run it on the toss. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. Tackle made there by Jabril Peppers. I know the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turning around and tossing it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge, whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football? If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a gain. If they don't, Oftentimes, it's not a very successful play. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. A critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And it is incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Broncos are going to get the football back in great field position. Uh, being just short of midfield, they decide to take a crack at it on fourth down. They don't come through. Sometimes it's just showing confidence in your defense. You know that they're good, and they'll take care of you. A lot of coaches during the week will announce to their team, we're going to be aggressive, guys. We're going to go for it. Hey, defense, you got me? A little bit of a challenge to them to see if they'll pick up the rest of the team. We'll see how they respond now. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind that they also... And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. And now we've hit that stage of the game, partner, where one of our predecessors, one of the great commentators of all time, he's a sing in this situation when this game appeared to be over. <laughs> I know the fat lady's been singing for some no, time. No, 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 not her at all. This but one of she's our guys. singing too. Oh, she say, she, yeah, she's, she's on like the fifth tune. At yeah, this point. She, she left scales way behind, but he's just saying something about turning out the lights. The party was over. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And now here come the Cowboys. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. 
And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense. Defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Time for a break. This one, all over but the shouting. We'll finish it after this. Second down, Young. Forced out to his left. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball. And they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. The Cowboys on third down. Lacking much success. Just two for seven to this point. This is third and nine. Young will set to throw. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Shaquille Barrett in there to record another sack. Their sixth of the afternoon. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and now possession will go over inside the 15-yard line. So this one fairly well in the bag as they take over with a first and goal. couldn't do a whole lot else. That gets him three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal. Okay, no score on that play, but this guy's been a touchdown machine all year long. You know they trust him with the football. The line of scrimmage, the seven the now on second and goal. Defense still with three timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them here as the kneel down comes. Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean...